Daniel here, W5 EKG. He's going to do another video on the Icon 9700. Um, so satellite, I'm doing some meteor scatter this morning and made a contact. Uh, there was a rock that passed through, uh, busted through, and was able to make a contact in the Connecticut from Oklahoma on two meters running about 150 watts. Uh, so I was going to do another quick demo real quick and maybe we'll get another rock bust through uh, before band conditions close up completely on two meters this morning and just kind of show y'all and run through I uh, run an MSK or meteor scatter on 9700 so as many people are familiar with the program you're going to be running is going to be WSJT uh, just like what a lot of people run on FT8 um, what I'm using to communicate with WSJT is Ham Radio Deluxe and then I go into my file settings for one I have enabled VHF, UHF, and microwave features. I have my TX Watchdog set to 30 minutes. That's because MSK can be such a long QSO process uh, for what these guys have explained to me because I'm brand new to Meteor Scatter. So, but once that's at the table, go over to radio and then you're going to select rig. You're going to have all these rigs on here. You're going to go down to Ham Radio Deluxe. I H. Ham Radio Deluxe, which is going to be my rig. And then you just set everything on your left side, your cat control, you're going to leave blank. What I have mine set to is PTT Method Cat, Transmission Audio Source. Rear data, Moog, none. Split operation, none. Okay, I just heard a rock come through in actual audio. Speaker audio of MSK. So let's see if we're going to play a transmission here. I'm using an old brick amp. You can see up there on my waterfall where someone's MSK signal just came through. Just kind of show you. It looks just like FT8 for people that are used to FT8. Scroll up here. I mean, you can see how long me and this other guy tried talking back and forth, and then the meteor finally came through. Um, I had an actual speaker audio of his MSK signal. Uh, sent a burst signal out, and. Bam, he picked me up just like that. Um, called him Roger, Roger, Roger. Get my signal, Roger. Then I was Roger, Roger, Roger. See cycles 7373 seven, completed the contact. Just a longer transmission mode than FT8. I believe it's 30 seconds. Um, if I'm not mistaken. But there we go. You can see, and then you're just going to set your ICOM uh, 9700 up just like you would any other digital modes. Menu set. I'm just going off the presumption here that you're already set up for digital. I'm just kind of giving a quick tutorial on just running meteor scatter. Uh, set connectors. 
page two, make sure your data off or correction data mode is set to mic USB. And then you're going to set up your CIV just like you would on my other videos with like SAT PC32. You're going to need to go in and set all your, your CIV addresses, uh, your baud rate, and everything. And this is set up for um, communication with Ham Radio Deluxe, and Ham Radio Deluxe communicates with uh, WSJT software. Zoom back out real quick. But I'm pretty stoked about that contact for two meters. It was 1,071 miles on two meters at 150 watts on my end. Let's enable TX again. As you can see. See if that'll zoom in on my screen there. And there's the transmissions. I said I'm only driving my amp with about yeah, maybe 15 watts going down to this old brick amp little microwave modules MML 144 slash 200S um, and of course I got a fan blowing on it because uh, back when they made these amps they weren't made for uh, digital modes weren't really a thing so um, I do have an SSB Preamp, mass mount preamp out there running two uh, two M12 um, 12 element Yagi's phased at uh, top ones at 70 feet. So well, no, it's a little above 70 feet. It's probably at 73 feet. The bottom one's uh, 11 feet under that, so put it at uh, 62 feet. So uh, good haul, very good haul. Um, I was really surprised on what Meteor Scatter could do. I was hoping this was going to give some audio of you actually hearing Meteors come in, but they kind of sound like static crashes on the HF bands. But, that was just a quick video, like I said, of the 9700 running MSK. WSJT software um, with Ham Radio Deluxe controlling WSJT. I was hoping to pull contact here, but I'm not. I'll check PSK reporter real quick and see how my signals are because I haven't heard any other big crashes. seeing anything so band conditions may be kind of two meter conditions are going to be kind of closing up so days progressing and uh, I'm not hearing any more big rocks I was hoping while doing this video maybe one would come through but we did get that bleep of uh, one speaker audio of someone MSK signal but I don't know whose it was so let me try this guy again see if he's gonna hear me
15 second QSOs, I apologize. Not 30 seconds. It takes 30 seconds for two people to communicate back and forth, but your actual transmissions are 15 seconds. So I told you wrong there um, a couple minutes ago. But, well, that's about it. I'm not hearing any other crashes. And, uh, yep, y'all can see, got my Ameritron in line there. My ACOM uh, final blew out on it, and I got to send it back. I don't know what happened. I wasn't even hardly running any, uh, any power, and it was only giving me half output power, so... Uh, Acom's going to cover it under warranty. Actually got a contact HRO this morning. And uh, get information for sending it out there too. Uh, excuse me, I had a yawn while I was talking. I couldn't stop it. So, alright, well, I'm going to wrap this video up. I just want to give a quick, uh, like I said, video on running MSK. Uh, doing some work on my other tower, uh, my satellite tower, so I haven't been on the birds in a few days. Uh, I should have that back up this evening, and I got my main tower up, everything ran, got a shunt load on it, got an inver my inverted L up, uh, cut a 240 foot dipole fed with a uh, 600 ohm ladder line, so I may go out there and do a video here in a little bit, because uh, some people were asking uh, about my tower setup, so this is Daniel W5EKG73.